Okay, I did jump the gun. Didn't the part I? you've been waiting for, Jeremy. I have. I know. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so there's not not much to talk about. We've been doing it this the, the entire time. That's that. That's the point that I want to make. So, I'll show you. I'll show you a little bit more specifically what's going on. And we'll jump right into the demo. It's the last segment, so we're going to have just a little review of KV, um, sort of how it can be used, how it's being used here, and how you can use it in your applications, your microservices, to be able to um, to be able to configure things on the fly, which is pretty cool. Um, so what's what's actually going on here? So if we do KV list. I actually have a key value bucket that I created ahead of time um, that actually has a handful of keys in here that I've been using. So we haven't seen this one yet, um, but we have seen being able to change the server on the fly. So if we go back here and I see my leaf fly, um, I can do put server GS. Oh, and we're back to connected to an NGS server. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that's <Okay>. cool. <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> and I know why that timeout's happening. So we'll fix that next. So I can say my mapping, I'm going to kind of go back to greeter v1. And then it works again. So it's re requesting uh, over that particular subject again. So, um, and then the sort of last one that I just showed before was the stream flag. And these are just little Boolean. So, I mean, people use feature flags all the time. I, I, so I hear, um, and there's varying degrees of success with, with, uh, implementations and, and latency requirements and things like that. But you have to, uh, remember that the server in this case, that server KV is actually being watched by not only every single web app, so all 55 people connected, but all the leaf nodes, because those are dynamically unsubscribing and then resubscribing to the server that I specify. So with one, one little command, one little push to a KV, they all received this watched event that this value has been changed and updated. And then they're able to basically do what they need to do to reflect that change. And um, similarly, really if I just cool. turn off, let's say stream again, and then that tab is gone, for example. So the last fun little, little thing here is that I'm going to turn on our DIY tab. And so what this is going to do now, if you get a refresh, that's fine. I know it's a slightly buggy, it'll refresh, you just hit subscribe again. So what is this doing now? It's actually subscribing with, you're, you're acting as a microservice right now. So you are actually running a service in your browser that is actually able to respond to requests. And so last little thing that I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna flip it over to V3. You're gonna be the V3 version of the service. And look at that, Byron's web app, okay? Did everyone catch that? That's <laughs> so what so I'm doing cool. here is let's let's uh, change. <laughs> let's uh, so you can just change your message, and it has this little interpolation value. You can resubscribe. Of course, it's broken. That's cool, but it does work when it wants to. Yeah, I got mine we'll working. Subscribe. There it is. And then he's. Hey, I see some other people. Ginger, the man, Jason. So what we what we're doing here is we're all subscribed again as a Q group. We're all members now of this of this group. Subscribe to this new subject, this V three service, and we're all now responding. Well, and I'm getting different people because I'm connected and to we're a sending, different we're sending cluster. 
So, so it, it, it kind yeah. of explains yeah. the whole, we'll route to the closest one because I'm getting, uh, you're on GCP US East, I'm on uh, AWS somewhere and I, I'm getting other people's responses. Like I'm not getting, you know, gingers or anybody's like, so it's pretty cool when you, when you see, see it in action, like um, it really does <laughs> do that location transparency and, and intelligent routing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is something that I've wanted forever when Make building Nancy. services is like this idea of dynamic configuration. Not only for that. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh my gosh. I wish I could see who actually got a frame, got a whoever frame Make it Nazi yeah. is, is just killing it right now. Um, uh, <laughs> so so yeah. the, uh, but like this idea of dynamically configuring things, not only for microservices, but you're like doing it for web apps and, and this is scales because, you know, it's just all mats under the hood, which is really, really neat. Um, but I've always wanted to be able to build services that rather than configuring things with environment variables or files or whatever configuration management you might use in Kubernetes, um, you, you can, you can, uh, you can do all of this inside of a key value store and still be able to lock down the permission set um, to be able to, to manage who gets access to that configuration. And I just think that's just so awesome. Like it's such, it's such an awesome tool for that. And, and I think underutilized, right? The idea that you can live hot reload um, your, your, mm -hmm. your services without having to restart them. Um, you can hot reload their configuration. And that's, that's really nice. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Well, that was, the, that was a grand finale of this segment of the day. Oh, I hope, hope everyone enjoyed and learned something.